Jai Ho, my dear children of class 7. I welcome you all for today's class. I hope you all are fit and fine at your home and doing well with your studies and playing too. Today in physical education, we are going to learn about second topic that is sports skills. And in sports skills, we are going to study about yoga. So you know yoga is our ancient meditation. It is been practiced from ancient time. And why we should do yoga? What are the benefits of yoga? And how it is good for all of us? So first thing is why we should do yoga? So here are a few things, few points which you will come to know. We should do yoga for good postures, for our breathing exercises, meditation, muscle tone, flexibility, strength and stamina. So when we do yoga, it gives us the benefit. It is the relation of our entire body which will support for this all the functions in our body for our good health. If our health is good, everything is good. So to maintain our good health, to maintain the good postures, to develop flexibility in the body, to do proper breathing exercises where we will not fall sick, we will not be affected by any of the diseases. So we should do yoga and when you do yoga, these are the benefits what we will get. So you will get a good posture, you will get good proper breathing, you will get to concentrate, that is our meditation, muscle toning in our body, the muscles what is there, then our body flexibility for the movement, strength and stamina to do different kinds of activities. It may be writing, reading, running, jogging and what not. Now, mudra. Why we should do mudra? What are the benefits of performing mudra? So mudras are to be done in sitting position with the help of your hand and your finger. So we take the mudra position. So this is the mudra position in sitting. So when we sit, we do mudra. And how it is also benefited for our good health and our body. So which positions are there in mudra? So the first one is pranayam. So we should pr perform pranayam. It is good for doing breathing exercises. When we do pranayam, it is good for our breathing exercise. Then Padmasana and Vajrasana. So when we do this all three mudras that is Pranayama, Padmasana and Vajrasana. When we do this all three asanas in sitting position, it will be good for breathing and the flow of energy in our body, for the flow of energy in our body. So we will be getting energy. See, when you get tired, you try to close your eyes, just sit and breathe in and out, in and out. You will feel relaxed, you will feel better. So it will help us for our breathing and flow of energy in our body. So we should do this three mudras every day. So first mudra is pranayam, second one is padmasana and third one is vajrasana. So these are the three mudras we should do and practice every day. But not only this three mudras, there are totally 399 mudras to be performed. So there are different different 399 mudras. How if we perform that, we practice that, our health will improve, our muscles will improve, we will get good strength, our breathing problem will be not there. We can do meditation and so many ways it will 
support our organs too our stomach too now what are the five benefits of doing yogasana so this are the five benefits of doing yogasana so first one is flexibility and strength so you will be get, getting flexibility and strength so your body is flexible for doing different different kinds of movement and you will be having strength to push to run to jump to throw so flexibility and we will get strength then our core muscles will get developed so whatever muscles we have in our body so along with our muscles there are joint muscles inside which will support us for this all different different activities playing reading sitting and performing asanas mudras and all so it will develop our core muscle then if ease stress so we will be relaxed if we have any tension if we have any stress it will relax our stress then low back pain so we will be having our low back pain so it will reduce even our low back pain so we we'll, sometimes you say na my back is feeling lower part so it will even reduce your back pain and the last one is we will improve our sleep so we will get a good sound sleep peace of sleep where we can relax ourselves after doing our work of entire day schedule so we will be relaxed so these are the five important points which will help our body if we perform this yoga every day if we do the yoga practice every day we are going to get this five benefits so first one is flexibility and strength second one is if we will develop our core muscles we will be ease at our stress our low back pain will reduce and the last one will is we get a good sound sleep so my dear children for today in yoga for class 7 these are the few important points why we should do yoga and how it is benefited for us and for our stomach our breathing and our good health what are the mudras we should perform what are the asanas we should do every day so now it's time to say bye bye to you all we shall meet in the next class for more details for the other upcoming topic till then take care have a great day jai hind